Assalamu alaikum. Okay, so what I had to do for this channel is create an email list. The reason why is because due to the nature of the content of this channel, I don't know when the content is going to just mysteriously disappear or this channel will be shut down. The email mail list is just for the followers or the subs so that you know where these things are just in case this mysteriously happens. So just go down to the link in the description of the video, click join email list, Put your email address in there, and boom, you're good to go. That means that I can also send you other information that I cannot post here on YouTube, and you'll also know where the channel is and where the content is in the event that it does disappear. Okay, let's cook. Okay. The Ben Crump frenzy with our people, it really concerns me. Uh, the whole Ben Crump being the star quarterback, for black people in America, uh, he's the go-to guy. It, it's not looking, it's not really sitting too well with me for some reason. Now, first, I got to say, as far as Ben Crump is concerned, I don't have an issue with Ben Crump. I don't know much about him as far as him being the possibility of being a sellout or a shine bone or whatever or a puppet. I didn't even look into him enough to see whether he's, you know, if he has these these issues or these transgressions whether he's a good lawyer or anything. Obviously, the man must be a good lawyer. I mean, I don't know. He's the go-to guy. You know, as far as I know, he's a good attorney. And I don't know enough about him to really have an issue with him, you know. But I have an issue with how our people are responding to him. And, you know, I see Ben Crump often representing black families who've been violated, you know, by law enforcement or had their civil rights violated or whatever. And my problem with the whole Ben Crump celebrity go-to guy for black people thing it's concerning, you know, when one of our people have our civil rights violated, you know, if we're taken out in some mysterious crime or whatever, we have been like, you know, socially engineered or programmed to say, call Ben Crump, get Ben Crump. You see it on social media, you see it in many of the comment areas, you see people saying, call Ben Crump, get Ben Crump. It's, it's, it's kind of concerning to me because it's starting to look a little bit too controlled, you know, it's starting to look too controlled. And my issue is, why does it take having Ben Crump to get involved to get the big media coverage and the justice that a lot of people our people deserve? You know, it's almost as if a black family, if they want justice, they have to call Ben Crump. If they want their story out there so that people can start to put pressure on, you know, the suspects or the transgressors or whatever, call Ben Crump. People are saying call Ben Crump. I don't think that's a good position to be in, you know. I don't I don't I don't think that's a good position for our people to be in. I do believe that there are plenty of, you know, talented black attorneys who understand forensics, you know, police brutality, racism, the law and things like that. I'm not I'm not. You, I can't be convinced that Ben Crump is the only guy or the best guy or, you know, the only one that people can call on and go to, you know, not saying there's anything wrong with going to him. But this whole everybody has to go to him or. He needs to be called. It's not a good look. You know, um, I also think there are enough of our people on major social platforms who could bring many of these issues to light without having to wait, you know, for the media to have Ben Crump standing there and then letting it go viral. You know, well, making it go viral because that's what they control, you know, but a lot of our people, we don't do that either. You know, it seems like we kind of follow the lead with these situations and these these incidents and things like that, often waiting for it to become valid. Like, you know how a lot of our people are. It don't mean nothing until the big guys, until the big, you know, social, the, the big media outlets, you know, start saying anything. And then we see Big Crump there. He's the star quarterback for black people. And it's like, this is this ain't looking right, man. I also think there's enough, you know, independent new black media on many other platforms that could get these stories out as well. You know, if everybody got on, a certain accord or a certain code, you know, a lot of this stuff can get out there and this stuff can be kept in the algorithms. But it seems that, you no, know, you know, a lot of people feel as though they have to be validated by, you know, these big networks and by, you know, big Ben Crump and other, you know, celebrity MVP type people. Um, I think that if something happens in Wisconsin, the one of our people, I think we should know about it in New York. We should know about it in Florida and vice versa. If something happens in New York, you know, people in Wisconsin, in California or Idaho or wherever, you know, they should know these stories because it's important for this information to get out so that people can start to think and be more proactive. But a lot of times we don't hear about these things until the major media outlets decide to cover it. 
you know, and they decide to let it go viral or, you know, somebody, Ben Crump decides that he's going to uh, pick up one of these cases and the media says, OK, that's Ben Crump. Let's let this go out there like that. You know, um, it just seems a little too controlled for me. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a little too controlled. And we know from our history that that control stuff is not a good look. It's not a good look. Um, I see that our people, we've really been socially engineered to call on Ben Crump. You know, many of our people believe Ben Crump is the only person who would get the job done. My question is, why is that? Now, it's not about Ben Crump, really. It's about these people who promote and the media who promote things that Ben Crump or incidents or cases that Ben Crump decides to take up. My question is, why do they decide to cover that? You know, now, should it be covered? Of course, but it should be covered for any one of these stories. Why does it take Ben Crump? You know, our people, we're so backed in the corner that we believe that Ben Crump is the only person who could stand up and bring light to these cases and get them settled. You know, police brutality, different kind of murder cases. But that's what it's really looking like. You know, that's what it's really looking like. But my question is, what people have to think is, why is it like that? It ain't about Ben Crump, you know, because Ben Crump don't own none of these big time media outlets. He's just a black man with who had a, a law firm who, I guess, does a good job or whatever. I don't know about his connections, but it's, it's something going on here. It's something going on here. And these cases, people, these cases that we see Ben Crump involved in, they, they aren't very hard to solve. I mean, most of the people on this channel alone in the comments can solve these cases for real. They're, it, 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 they're not very hard to solve, you know. And I'm not minimizing his job as far as forensics and other things like that are concerned. But these cases don't take rocket science. You know what I mean? They don't take rocket science to put together. You know, I recently did coverage on this channel a few months ago, I believe back in December, on a young brother by the name of Rasheem Carter in Mississippi. And this is an example of how the media controls these stories and how we respond. Now, this story was a big deal months ago. Back in December, the family, his family even went out there to this this town in uh, Mississippi. They even walked through the streets. They were marching. They were trying to do their own, you know, background work. And a lot of people said nothing. These major outlets, they said nothing. And the reason why that a lot of people didn't say anything or even know about it is because a lot of people depend on old media or mainstream media for the information. They didn't show anything. They didn't show anything. Tragic story. It should have been covered by mainstream media, but at the time it wasn't, or at least by, you know, independent influencers on social media and things like that. A lot of people weren't covering it or talking about it. You know, the boy, the young man, the brother was missing. You know what I'm saying? Brother went to work and was missing, told his mom things, you know, told people who his roommate was Eduardo. They got into an argument and things like that. I just think that when things like this happen, you know, it should be covered. Either, you know, if not, if not the majors, the independent new media outlets, we have enough black people who have different outlets. There are enough celebrities who have, of course, those shine bones that they, they control. They, they really can't say much of anything anyway, unless they usually have to follow the lead of the, um, of a lot of these major media outlets. But all of a sudden in this Rasheem uh, situation, Ben Crump is involved His family. They were able to go, you know, contact Ben Crump. And now since Ben Crump took it on, big media coverage comes in. The big media is there now. Now, I'm not saying that this story shouldn't get coverage from big media or that Ben Crump shouldn't have got involved in it. But what I'm saying is that should look kind of suspect to people. That that looks that looks kind of controlled. It just, you know. It, it just it don't sit right. It don't look right. And we know from our history, it, that's not a good look, yo. That's not a good look that it takes one or two, you know, uh, you know, a, a star quarterback for all black people, you know, to get media coverage. Is it not him? Is him or whatever? Come on, man. There are a lot of talented black lawyers and attorneys or people that are involved in forensics who can solve these cases and do something. Why do they control it to just one person? That's just my question right there, you know. It just looks too controlled, you know, as far as, you know, as, as far as the media getting involved. And these media outlets, they're pretty much all the same people. They have a few of them 
They all run the same stories. Then they got a bunch of little junior varsity media outlets that follow them and run the same story. That's all it is. So it's not like this is a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of white folks that popped up and I want to have a media. No, no, it's only a couple of them. They got a, a bunch of people that work for them, but this is a real controlled thing, you know. But Ben Crump, people, I mean, he has a website just like any other attorney. You can go to it. You can put your incident in there and they decide to look into it. You know, you probably going to get some justice or whatever. But I get it. This is just a man. You know, Ben Crump, he's out here trying to make an honest living. No knock on that or whatever. But this whole thing, you know, it, this whole MVP star quarterback black lawyer thing for all black people is starting to look. It, it looks controlled, man. It looks kind of controlled. So. I don't know. I know he's definitely not the only man who could get the job done. You know, what's up with him in the media? That's my question. You know, why do we have to have this one star quarterback black lawyer? It's not looking right. That actually that looks dangerous. It's like putting all your eggs in one basket. And people should be concerned with that because this is just one man. If he if he does anything to piss off these white folks, something that they don't like, or if they find out about some transgression that he might have, then, you know, they can go to him and say, hey, well, listen, this is what you're going to do and say. And Ben Crump and his entire narrative could change. And he has the influence over a lot of black minds already. You know, since most of us have been socially engineered to believe that Ben Crump is the only man that can get the job done. I mean, he can say anything then, you know. That's just a little bit too controlled for me, y'all. You know, and keep in mind, black people, we don't socially engineer people. That's not our thing. We do work for people who socially engineer people. We got these shine bone celebrities and athletes and other people who work for those people who try to socially engineer us. But, you know, we know from our history, social engineer, that's not to our. And, and, then, and if it is, when it goes down, it's usually never, you know, to our benefit. We never really had the. Well, at one point we had. It was popping a little bit many years ago. It was starting to get somewhere, whereas we can influence our own people. But, you know, they, they came and shut that down as fast as they could. You know, but this Ben Crump thing, it kind of concerns me. I see even uh, the daughters of Malcolm X. Ben Crump is representing them in this latest lawsuit. You know, then all the big media platforms came out for that. Uh I don't I don't know, man. I, I don't know about this Ben Crump thing. Y'all Y'all got to get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about that. And again, it's no knock on Ben Crump because I don't know enough about him for real. I don't and I don't have to know because you could replace Ben Crump with any other man or any other woman. It ain't even about him personally. It's about what we know that goes on. You know what I'm saying? You know, as many things as happen to our people, these civil rights violations, you know, and things like that. We shouldn't need, you know, Ben Crump to get big media attention, you know, or we shouldn't have to wait. Other other outlets shouldn't have to wait for these stories to become valid to them, you know, by well validated by these big media outlets because Ben Crump is, st is standing there and then it's like, OK, now let's do it. It's important. No, no, no. We got enough independent people and enough, you know, new media people. That need to just start, you know, running these things and finding out these situations with our people because you got people that don't even know what's going on. You know what I mean? You know, and by the way, anyway, this Rashim Carter situation, I see many people are following it now, which is good. It's a good thing. And you see what they did to this young man. It's a sad six story. Six story. Uh, it really upsets me because Rashim Carter was just a young man who was out trying to make an honest living. He was going to get a job, you know, and they did so, some things to him that are just. And that little Mississippi town or whatever, just you, you don't even want to imagine what they did to him. You know, you see what's there now, y'all. You see what's there. And I think this case is also very easy to solve. You know, we got to look into that roommate, the one he was getting a ride with at the hotel. What's his name? Eduardo, the co-worker. They were staying at the same hotel or something like that. I'm not sure if they were roommates, but they worked together and Rashim was catching a ride with him. What's up with him? We know that they got into an argument or something like that, and he couldn't get a ride with Eduardo that day. Why couldn't he get a ride? And again, he worked at the same place where his, you know, Rashim sent his mother a message saying that his boss and these guys were out to get him. He said it clearly. You know what I mean? Wherever he worked, wherever his boss was, there you go. What was up with that argument that he got in with Eduardo? If you want two people, you can go back and watch the first uh, video that I did on this back in December or whatever. You know, I, I'll attach it. I'll pin that video in the comments. But um, 
What's up with that? They were following Rasheem Carter all the way to the dollar store. He went to the dollar store. The cashier at the town got a phone call, you know, and was talking to somebody on the other line like, yeah, he's here. You know, he didn't even know this person. Again, these people in these white towns, they form Voltron. They form Pell Voltron. And they put that pressure on you. It's not a hard case to solve. I don't believe it's only as hard as these people want to hold out. But I do personally believe that they should allow people to put the heat on these guys at work, on this um, this supervisor, uh, on Eduardo, on the person that dollar, at the, the dollar store or whatever. Because since this thing happened, these people have been working to cover. This was way back, you know, last year when this happened. So they've been working on covering up this thing. They've been working with the local police. They've been working with the stores. They've been, you know, killing whoever seems like they might buck the system because that's what they do. If you one of them white folks, you feel you, you act like you're going to uh, go against the grain, go against this pale Voltron that they form it. Yeah, you find about that person, you know, they fell off their boat or something or they're, you know, wherever, somewhere with the pigs. Whatever, but that's what they do. That's how they carry it. So they've been working on covering this whole thing up a long time ago. They got a real good head start, you know. So I personally believe that the names of these people should be blasted out. I think that the family should uh, give that information up. People go search for their pictures. And just imagine if 100, 200, 300 thousands of people every day random are just posting these people's pictures. Hey, what's up with this person? That puts a little bit more pressure on them as opposed to not saying their names, not saying anything, because, you know, these people, they had a lot of time to prepare, you know. They had a lot of time to prepare. I think that putting these names and pictures on black, and it doesn't have to be Ben Crump. It doesn't even have to be Rasheem Carter's mom. Give them names up. You know, people like to get involved with stuff like that, even if they don't care. You know a lot of black people on social media. They just want to be part of a wave anyway. Use these people, you know, let them get them names. Let them start posting these people up, you know, pictures, names, the job, all that. Why? Do, I mean, that, that shouldn't be confidential information. These people had too much of a head start already, but I don't know, people. Get in the comments. What do you all think about that? You know, not having enough information on these people's identities, their pictures and everything. You know what I mean? Get in the comments. What's up with this Ben Crump thing? Also, people, let me know what you think about that, man, about this whole Ben Crump being a star MVP quarterback lawyer for all black people. You know, what's up with that, man? Does that seem weird to you? Does it seem controlled? Get in the comments. Let me know what's good. Easy.